We are learning more about the suspect just identified in a gruesome murder. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner has been following the story throughout the morning for us. She joins us live from Waller County with the very latest in this case. Rochelle. Lisa, good morning. As you mentioned, the sheriff, he just identified the suspect as 21 year old Jared Dykus. Now, Dykus is still in the Waller County Jail facing murder charges. The sheriff revealed that Dykus was at the Tumball Regional Hospital on Sunday, but he couldn't say why. Right now, there's still a lot of questions as to what happened and why something like this could have happened here in Waller County. Now, I want to show you some video from this morning. Now, Dykes is, is accused of killing his, his wife, who is also 21 years old. The couple recently got married, and around 5 p.m. yesterday, deputies were called to the family's home on Oak Hollow Boulevard near Oak Hills Court in Magnolia, where they found the woman who was decapitated. Investigators spent several hours collecting evidence and trying to determine a motive. The couple was staying at a tiny home on the property that was behind the family's main house. Family members didn't realize there was an issue with the couple until they called the sheriff's office yesterday to report it. And the sheriff just telling me over the phone that the details in this case is so very gruesome and disturbing. He told me that he couldn't release a lot of information because it is so fresh. He also said that the family had some issues but couldn't elaborate and he couldn't talk about how many times deputies were possibly called out to the home in the past. But of course, we're going to stay on top of this story and continue to provide you updates throughout the day. You can find more information on our website at clicktohouston.com. Reporting live from the Waller County Sheriff's Office, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC2 News.